Bounds. Saint Pedro is mortal. So this is valid because it follows the first rule. The first rule under the, the Ten Commandments of the Tiburcal Synergism the a valid argument should only have three terms should only have three terms because if there are four terms in that particular state in a particular argument that is already an invalid an invalid argument because it does not follow the rule so what is the rule that there should only be three terms so if you're going to count how many terms present in this particular argument there are only three first men the common mortal and petro so you other other words there they are not considered terms because they are considered, uh, they are called as co-significant terms. The significant terms that we are referring here, yung men, mortals, Pedro, and man. Yung mga co-significant terms, yung mga signifiers, qualifiers, yung conjunctions, prepositions, these are co-significant terms. We are concerned with the significant terms. So the significant terms here, there are only three. Men, mortals, and Pedro. So therefore, we arrive at the conclusion, Pedro is mortal. Give you another example. A dog has four legs, but a cat has four legs too, therefore a cat is a dog. If you're going to analyze the set of argument, you may automatically conclude that this argument is invalid. If I ask you what makes this argument invalid, like in my other class when I asked them, they told me it's because sir, a cat is not a dog. Well, it be true that a cat is not a dog, but you are not repairing there of the material validity. I'm not asking you of the truth content. I'm not asking you of the uh, the truth content or the material validity of of the conclusion or the material validity of its proposition or its premise. I'm asking you of formal validity. The question then, does it follow the rule? Does it follow the rule or the rules? So there's nothing wrong when it comes to that particular particular uh, particular uh, argument. Kasi if tinanggal natin yung common denominator, ang naiwan na lang is a cut is a dog. Well, it may be valid, but it does not necessarily mean that it is a sound argument. Kasi tignan mo yung first rule. Tignan mo yung first rule, meron lang siyang three, three terms lang. No, three terms. So it seems that it is... Uh, Invalid, but actually it's valid. It's valid. But the question there on material validity, the question is asked, is it materially valid or is it really sound? So that's the question. The second type is what we call material, or I'd like to change it to sound, not the nomenclature. It's based on the truth content or meaning of statement in bold in reason. What is the meaning? Question there, is it really true? Is the statement true in reality? Is it, is it true in the actual order of things? Or according to the very identity of that particular statement, does it entail any meaning at all? So if the, the answer there is no, therefore it is false, that's what makes it materially invalid, or shall I say, I'd like to use the word sound. It is concerned with the aspect of the subject matter or content or truth of the argument. So it just, uh, in a manner of speaking, we can just simply say, is the statement true or false in reality? Simple as that. Give you an example. A ruler is 13 stone. But Pinoy is a ruler. Therefore, Pinoy is 13 stone. You see, there is what we call an equivocal term here. It seems that this is valid. This is a valid argument. But what makes it problematic is the presence of equivocal term. What is an equivocal term? Terms might have the same spelling and same sound but different meaning. They may have the same spelling, different sound, different meaning. For as long as they have different meaning, that is equivocal. Because the word ruler in the first proposition or the first premise refers to an instrument, an, a measuring rod or a measuring instrument. The uh, second term ruler in the second premise, Pino is a ruler would refer to a leader. Would refer to a leader. So there are uh, the, the common denominator, the middle term here, 
ये स्टिक भी वोकल द रूलर टर्म स्टिक भी वोकल एक बात इतना स्टार्ट इसी सारे लिए मीन द दिस पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ आर्गुमेंट इज इनवैलिड द क्वेश्चन इज आस्क इज दिस अ वैलिड आर्गुमेंट यस डेफिनेटली इट इज अ वैलिड आर्गुमेंट द क्वेश्चन देयर इज इट अ साउंड आर्गुमेंट द आंसर इज इन द नेगेटिव 